Welcome to IVSA Chart Analytics, your best signals stock market indicators. IVSA Chart Indicators is based on the time-proven Wyckoff-Williams volume spread analysis. It tells you when you should be in and when you should stay out. No more second guessing. It features a stock screener that allows you to follow the smart money. You virtually get in before the public does. Profit with the smart money. Simple, accurate, and available on desktop and mobile devices. Test drive our IVSA chart now. Hello, everybody. Good morning and welcome to another show, another program, which is the uh, TradersTruthReview.com Friday Chart Clinic dating the uh, 25th of July 2014. So how is everybody doing? We have a big crowd today here. Uh, and Bill is also with me too, and uh, Bill is going to give you an update. But the agenda for today will be as follow, and a uh, little bit of announcement. Uh, we will be doing our so-called second IVSA uh, presentation uh, uh, session. Okay, this will be on webinar presentation session on August 6th. Uh, today, we will also announce we'll be releasing our first VSA mini 7-day e-course. Now, uh, that will be released on August 7th. This is also a free course, a very short mini e-course. And then at the same time, we'll be also releasing our free uh, IVSA chart stock game, which we've been uh, developing over the last two months with the development team, which is made available to all of our reader and also the public to try out whatever the charts that you see you know if, if you if you see a signal you know in ivsa here uh do you buy when you see it and and the whole point is try to uh do what we normally do uh in theory but we simulate it using uh, a, a market in here and it's very good we are taking the uh, live prices at the, as it's happening so that'll be quite exciting uh, but before that uh, let me just get you back to uh, uh, Bill and perhaps let Bill talk about the uh, uh, outlook so far. All right, Bill, you ready, Bill? Right, I'm ready. All right, Bill, you're on, yeah. Bill. Okay, man. Okay, there are some people asking me in the comment on this one. Okay. Yeah, Bill, go ahead, Bill. Bill, can you hear me, Bill? Bill, go ahead, Bill. You can talk now. Okay, Martin, you got us ready? Yes, go ahead, go can ahead. You hear me? Yes, yes, I can hear you. Go ahead. Can you hear me? Go ahead, I can hear you. Go ahead, I can hear you. Okay, good. Um, okay, the first uh, very crucial thing that happened this last week um, for all world markets was that uh, Janet Yellen, she gave her testimony, she's the new Federal, Federal Reserve Chairman, and she gave her testimony to Congress, and she said some things that were quite strange. Uh, for a Federal Reserve governor to say, normally they will never recommend stocks. It's not their job uh, to promote the market or promote individual stocks. Their job is to regulate uh, the monetary policies. However, Janet Yellen, uh, on questioning from one senator, warned that biotech and media stocks were overstretched. They're in a bubble. And uh, she said that um, blue chip shares Yeah, Bill, I can't hear you, Bill. Okay. So after that, she was further questioned, and then she said, and this contradicted what she said, she said that um, she will not raise rates in the U.S. for at least another year. Uh, reason being, in inflation is very tame. I mean, uh, unemployment uh, is, is not that bad. So there's no reason to raise rates, no inflation. So this is a contradiction. And after she said this, the biotech market, which has some shares with PEs well over 500, Malaysia doesn't have any companies like that, 500. And there was a big rally in the biotechs and in the media stocks that also have many, many very, very high yields. No, very little revenues, some no earnings at all. But yet they make new highs every day. In fact, there was one stock, uh, Biosensor, um, who has no revenues, no earnings, um, almost virtually no sales, but they went up 10% last night to 360 US dollars per share. 
So this is what's going on. And why have I mentioned this? This is the US, it's not Malaysia. However, all the world markets are correlated to what goes on in the US, like it or not. If the US should have a big collapse of the bubble like they did in, in, in 1998, if the internet collapsed, every, every stock market in the world will be affected. So that means we have to be nimble, we have to be careful, we have to be on guard. And I, I attended a briefing by Mr. Pauli Kirk, who is the market strategist for Philip last week. Um, he was mentioning, he, he showed some slides showing um, that expect the Malaysian market to perform okay for the next six months. So that means um, it's, it's a pays to be position, obviously manage your risks, and don't buy stocks with PEs at 500. And if you stick with conservative blue chip shares, you should be fine. And on another note, Singapore is also performing very well. Uh, yesterday, SGX, that is the operator of the Singapore Stock Exchange and Futures Exchange, they just had a line change. And that shows the demand is coming in. Uh, that shows people are both buying more stocks and more products that are sold by the SGX. Um, we, and by the way, we bought this for ourselves and for our clients recently, um, anticipating that a line change would happen. We did see a buildup uh, in demand, slowly lifting of the lows uh, at a consolidation, in a consolidation, and we bet that there would be a breakout. It happened yesterday. So again, Singapore will greatly benefit uh, with this policy of the Federal Reserve, uh, lower interest rates. And you think about it. If you put money in a fixed deposit in Europe or the US, you get less than 1%. So it means that stocks are still the place to be. Uh, again, though, be careful. Now, that's one thing that's happened in the market. Uh, the other thing that was quite positive, as was mentioned by Tommy Kurt, was the purchasing manager index in China rose to 52 from 50.7. It shows that China is strengthening, the economy is strengthening. And this obviously will benefit Singapore and will benefit Malaysia, who have exposure to China shares. So I would say that, uh, as I have been mentioning, China is at a major support around the 2000 for the Shanghai Index. Um, and every time someone tries to push it down, it doesn't, doesn't go down. There is strong support here. The government is supporting this index. So in my opinion, China it has the best risk of reward of virtually any market in the world. But again, be careful. And the way that Martin and I play it is we invest in Singapore shares. Uh, obviously, those with not much exposure to China, but Singapore will greatly benefit the whole market if China recovers. And Singapore is a long time away from the old time high, and the sentiment is quite negative. And this is a time to buy when negative sentiment and, and when people are uh, afraid and apprehensive. That's the time. You don't buy when everybody is bullish and everybody is pushing the market higher and buying new shares, making new highs every day. That, that's the greatest risk of all. Now, on another note, something that is affecting the market, especially the oil market, is the situation in Ukraine. And it's very interesting. I, I, one of the um, ministers uh, in uh, Russia, uh, he was saying this, and he said, look, the Russia is the bear. That is the national animal of the Russians, the bear. And he said, you can take a long needle, imagine a big, long, sharp needle, and you can take that needle and poke the bear. Now, because the bear has thick skin and fur, it's no problem to the bear. It doesn't affect them. But if you keep doing it and doing it, uh, like the Americans and the Europeans are doing and the Ukrainians are doing, eventually he's going to take his paw and he's going to rip your face off, rip the skin right off of your face. This is the Russian bear. And don't underestimate the Russians. They lost 25 million men in World War II when they defeated the Nazis. And they also lost a lot when they defeated Napoleon. The Russians don't give up. And Putin will not back down. And because of this attitude of Putin, America backed down the other day. I was very surprised. They said... Look, Russia is not really the ones who shot down the plane. They backed down. They were saying all the time that Russia was responsible for, for shooting down this Malaysia plane, but not the case. And when they did that, the ruble strengthened, the stock market in Russia strengthened, Asia market strengthened, 
The U.S. went to New High, the Dow Jones. So it looks like Putin is now winning this battle. And the Europeans have backed down from some of the sanctions. Now, what does that mean? It means that oil prices uh, will, will trend lower, and they have been the last few days. And that will benefit uh, some of our shareholdings in Malaysia. There won't be so much pressure on the oil market. And when oil prices uh, go, go down, that is good for inflation, and that is good for the stock market. So that's another bullish point. Um, and in any case, things are looking quite good. Um, I would say do invest a bit of money in Singapore. Uh, that market has a long way to go, and uh, the negative sentiment will turn, and you'll see um, good opportunity there. And I especially like the REITs in Singapore, which we have purchased. We did um, some visits uh, to some of these uh, REIT operators in Singapore, and we found uh, some that uh, have a lot of potential, um, and, and we're getting six and a half, seven percent yield on some of them. So that's a nice yield to get in the Sing dollar, which in my opinion is the strongest currency in the world. So you get the currency gain, you get the capital gain, and you get the uh, dividend payout, which is quite strong. And just to, as, a, as a last note, I'll end it on this. Um, during the crash of 2007 and 2008, all the world markets went down. Malaysia was down at one point by 47%. Singapore was down over 40%. But there was one sector in Singapore that didn't get hurt too badly, and that was the wheat sector. And in fact, yes, REITs did go down. However, not one REIT cut their dividend during 2008 and 9, 7, 8, and 9. So isn't that interesting? So for, for income, stability of capital, uh, come and see us, come and talk to us. Uh, we're now accepting money for opening accounts uh, in Singapore. So come and see us. And with that, I really wish you guys a great week, a great holiday. Enjoy yourself, drive safely. And there's a lot of traffic out on the road. So be careful when you're driving, uh, and have a good, good time. Bye. All right, thanks. All right, okay, we are back now. All right, thanks a lot, Bill. Okay, so it's just uh, uh, just now me, and uh, there were a couple of questions people. Uh, yeah, Mike says Bill should speak louder. Well, we try to do the best we can because he's on the other side of the town and uh, we was hoping that we could get hold of uh, a bill okay what uh, another now uh, what we also have is our ivsa survey now i have uh, close about 20 over people in there how many of you have filled up the ivsa survey please let me know okay how many have done so can you type yes or no now if you have been coming to our uh, Friday chart clinic, I will appreciate that if you give us your feedback. That's the least you, you, you know you could do it, do us a favor. And uh, after all, you know we like to make the uh, the IVSA chart part of your trading tools that you use, and also part of the uh, the, the the site that you want to use. Can, can, how many of you have not filled up the IVSA survey, please? Okay, I really need your support. I really need your help. Okay, to fill up the IVSA support that we sent out. And I will uh, resend it again uh, next week, but hopefully I can get your support. Let me just get that mail and post it to you. Can you do that for me, please? All right, when we do the uh, uh, the survey, let me just get the, the survey code here. I, I have it with me here. If I do have it, I'll give it to you. Mm, okay, the IVSA survey. Oh, I don't have it here. I have it on the other side. Okay, I, I don't have it in here. But if you do get the mail, I will blast it out again. Can you do me a favor and, and fill up the form? Can you do that, please? All right. Appreciate your thing. After all, you know, uh, this is the... Would you do that for us? Okay. Just type yes. All right. I know some of you have done so. Okay. Some of you have done so. And I'll appreciate that. Uh, if you can fill up the IVSA uh, survey that we have sent out, and also on the August, uh, and also at the same time, uh, the 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 second IVSA chart webinar presentation uh, invitation will also be sent out. So watch out for that one. Uh, okay. So and on the sixth of August, which is nine p.m., I will talk about the uh, the free VSA mini course, give you a small glimpse of it, 
and also the IVST stock chart that we will release on August 7th. And those two of them, uh, which we have spent a lot of money, a lot of time to develop it up just for you guys to home in your skill to practice it. And it will be uh, for free. Now, a lot of things that we're doing here. So the least you, we, we could do is get your support and, and fill up the uh, survey what you like to see because without your support without your feedback it's very hard to move forward because I, as i said as i'm speaking now bill is is somewhere in kl i'm here and some of you are from overseas in australia i do know ali ali you, are you in australia now or you're still in kl ali all right so yeah people all from the all right so this is uh very will be quite interesting uh, for for right okay yep Ali is in Australia so that's that's the uh, whole thing we are talking uh, about so all right so now what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm just gonna go straight to the IVSA chart uh, look at a couple of stocks uh, perhaps just to go through it very easy kind of thing three uh, A am I getting a three A here or is it A rank three the uh, three A no three A ah uh, three A are we getting a three A here. What is the code, uh? Uh, Linda, if you are listening? Is it A rank, I think? Is it A rank or 3A? Zero, zero, okay, we can put in the 0012.kl. Oh, it's 3A resources. Now, like it not, 3A, it's nice. You got the... Uh, strength coming in here is building up a nice space in here uh if you want to we can go a bit uh, a bit further back uh we go one year and we can switch to a weekly chart here and we can update the chart so you can see it's been base building 88 cents the the, the question has been it from a weekly standpoint it hasn't really moved and last time that it did move 3a shot up in almost one week and sell it off so this is a normal kind of distribution chart not I wouldn't recommend anybody who have not much experience to play this. This requires a lot of experience. And if the market go up, you just want to get it. And if you run your tower like what we did last week, uh, which I will not talk about it, uh, probably on the 6th of August, I will talk about the stock screener. We'll do a bit more then. Then that gives you a bit of potential in here. You can, If you look back at six months, there isn't much. And if you go and look at the percentage scale on the left side here, you can click on that so you can see what kind of uh, uh, potential you have in here. Now, you've got an old high here, which is 3%, 5%, 6% here. Uh, so you're talking about if you're buying here, 2 to 6%. So that's about only about 8% upside to it. So figure it out first whether it is worthwhile or not to do it, okay? Uh, we got another one, Lion Fib, okay? I appreciate some of you to go to the forum uh, that we set up for you guys. Uh, put it in there. Uh, there wasn't any in the forum here. Uh, last week, we have some here, London Biscuit. So I would like to have some of them. At least I do a little bit of preparation work. I appreciate that. If you can do that, go to the uh, forum and, and, and submit it if you can. Uh, we started this forum to get things uh, moving in there. And it's not cheap, okay? And so far, uh, we've been still trying to recover our costs. Hopefully, when we launch our IVSA chart, we really need your support uh, to, to cover back some of the costs we have put in for developing uh, this fantastic and wonderful software. So what do you think about, of it? So uh, we'd like to hear your feedback. The, definitely the IVSA uh, chart survey would definitely help us to uh, make that kind of a decision whether we should move it or not because, uh, because it required time and required money too. All right. Uh, next one is a Lion Fib. Is that the one? Lion Forest. Am I correct? Is it Lion Forest? Is that a Lion Forest? Okay. Oh, yes. Okay. Let's, let's take a look. Lion Forest. Yeah, uh, it just shot up one of these, the funny one. Uh, it's, you know, you got strength coming in here. It's very hard to tell. It just went up by 2%. I don't know where is it today. Let's take a look at today. Okay. So it's one of those stocks. Uh, have you bought it yet? Yeah, <laughs> just shot up today only. That's right. Uh, have you bought it yet? Yup. Oh, no. Uh, forget it. Just run your tower and look for some shares. Alex, you are you are one of the premium members, isn't it? Are you? Are you one of the premium members? 
Oh no, you, you should consider. I just want to show you for those of you who have missed out. Uh, for our premium members, there's one came out a very good uh, testimonial, and he talks about here about the stock pick. Uh, how you can look at the testimonial that we have, and uh, he's he uh, during the month of uh, 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 I think this year he made something like twenty thousand in three months. It's also by name of Yaptu, and uh, that was a nice testimonial uh, that we have. All at the end of the day, we we would like our premium members to make uh, good money from our stock pick. I think one of the more recent one on the closing bell is also Bram. Uh, we did talk about that one too, okay? And you can see the testimonial in here, uh, the value investing. We, we are making a good progress. The, the online cost in here, uh, there's also some comment in here. So take a look at that one, all right? Okay, next, let's go to the next stock if you have. Okay, uh, we have 71, uh, 7192, okay, 7192. 7192. Okay, 7912, okay. Did I get it right? No, I didn't get it right. 7219, okay. It's my tag. Now this one again is still base building in here. You can buy the strength in here, a pretty nice one. Uh, you can see this run up here was pretty fast. So will it go up? And it's only less than uh, since February. So it takes time to kill it because this is all syndicated stocks, you know, meaning they'll push it up just to distribute and then push it down. You can see here it moved up uh, almost 60% in here. A lot of these are uh, really have nothing there. Red tone. Okay, uh, we can look at red tone. Uh, okay, red tone is nice. Uh, this is what I'm talking about. If you want to buy shares, Okay, uh, I will talk more deeply uh, on the IVSA session on August 6th because I want to cover it by then. So you see these are uh, all the strength coming in, in here. Uh, this good. At the same time, I also thanks for those uh, who have volunteered to become the IVSA uh, Pro User Group chart. We have uh, sufficient people. So now I'd like to close the, uh, uh, the so-called the, the, the uh, close group that we have because the uh, focus user group will uh, get to test out the pro version and I want to get those feedback from you. Uh, the, the whole point is that I know some of you has been with our website for the last three years and, and uh, we, we appreciate your support that you've been given to us but also at the same time we really want your feedback how we move forward. There are a lot of, know, knowing Malaysian, a lot of you guys are very quiet, you just sit by the side and I didn't know sometimes you've been with us for four or five years. I don't know partly it's because you're a quiet person or you just, you know, that is your personal personality okay but it's good to to know let us know you better too and uh, hopefully we can serve you right uh, uh if you were to sign up new premium members should able to subscribe to a new IVA or uh, Metastock EOD uh, it's a different it's all a different uh, ton it, it will be a different the premium members will be uh, a separate the IVSA chart will be separate so you we will probably do a product bundling too uh, we haven't done anything yet, so we'll, we will release it first. We probably do a product bundling, the IVSA chart plus the premium membership uh, at a different price, probably at a higher price compared to the IVSA chart. Now, you, it's also depending where you want to choose the light version or the pro version. The whole point, we are making a program that is affordable to everybody. We will have the free chart, but uh, again, a free chart may not have all the updated, but it's just more like a, a teaser for you to show what you can actually get. Bottom line is, if you can make money from our chart, would you subscribe it? Yes or no? That's all I want to know. Okay. If you can make money from our charts, would you subscribe it? Yes or no? Okay, good. That's all I want to know. If you can't make can't make it, what's the point? You see? That's the whole point. We really want to get your feedback. Uh, uh, but then there will always be some people, no matter what they want to do, they always be uh, uh, free. Uh, these are the, uh, unfortunately, we, we cannot serve you because uh, you are not even part of the... Uh, Okay, because it's it's tough serving free 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 stuff, you know. Uh, we we're doing much what what we can, you know. We got the free VSA course, you no. Know, we have the free stock market game. So hopefully you're convinced, and and because if you cannot afford uh the tools that you have, then you are seriously not running trading as a business. You must think of this running as a business. Okay, I have a lot more people, and I really appreciate your your. Oh, oh yep, thanks for your comment, huh? Yep. You're the guy who uh, sent me a nice comment. You made 20000 I hope you're still making money, yeah? Okay, uh, let's look at a few more uh, stocks in here. Can you send me a few more stocks? You want me to look at? Okay, if you want me to look at a couple of stocks more. 
Uh, there are some requests for, for certain uh, IVSA Pro chart and we are taking So the IVSA uh, survey is definitely uh, uh, where you want to uh, highlight to us. All right. Okay, let's look at a few more stocks here. Uh, Red Tone is nice. Uh, okay, Mitra. Mitra Jaya, right? Yeah, I think so, Mitra Jaya. Okay, Mitra Jaya also not bad. Looks holding up nicely. But the question is, it's gone up so much in the last uh, so-called April. So if it does break down, that's a lot of downside from here. Okay, one, two. So the, the, the whole point is you have to choose your entry. Some of these, it does look like a distribution in here, right? So although they have sign of weakness, but if you break here, that's going to be a fast one going down too. Okay, I, Jacob, we weren't able to do all, David. Okay, all right. Thanks for your comment, David. Thanks for your feedback. I appreciate that. I think I Jacob has gone. Have you have you gone into I Jacob yet? Because I I have LC all the same thing too. Okay, I think you gone into I Jacob. Right? I think last week you told me. Have you gone to I Jacob yet? Oh, so already. What price did you sell? What price did you get in? Share with me. What price did you get in? What price did you sell? Can you do that? What price did you get in and what price did you sell? Okay. Oh, for you sold already. You got in at uh, 43, is it? Mm, okay, not too bad. You went in at 43 half, which is around here. Okay. And you sold it at 49. That's not too bad here too. But you notice that we have still sign of strength going higher. There wasn't any sign of strength. And I don't blame you, David. You didn't come for our course. So hopefully if you're able to use our RVS, as much as it is currently, you still let the profit run. And if you let the profit run, right, then you're about 160% return. Now, I, I do know a lot of people are trained to take 10% profit. And to me, if you do, do you take 10% profit? How many of you do need take, uh, when you see 10%, you take your profit? Just tell me yes or no. Yeah. No, you don't. You shouldn't take 10% as a profit. It's very serious. You got to let the profit run. Those of you who came our course, because if you take 10% profit and you cut loss at 10%, I tell you, overrun, you're going to lose money. All right? And I, and if you have not been through proper training, and I, I uh, uh, it's going to be difficult. So that's the whole point. If you got the IVSA chart and got it somewhere around here, 30%, right and, and then let it move on there wasn't any sign of weakness here as you can see there was a spring uh, there was a low volume test in here it's continued to run up you could have made well 150 percent instead of 10 percent right all right 10 to 15 percent okay if you are day trader is different tend to let it run if you're trading intraday then it's a different story but if you're trading in the uh, overnight charts or day chart you can make this kind of return i'll show you another one as one of the uh, guys who pick it up uh, who came to our course, BMS, okay? You can see there was a nice line change here, 10%, right? Shoot up, shoot up almost 100% in here. That's what I'm talking about, right? There's no weakness, you don't sell. A lot of time, people just take 10% and they run off. Don't, don't do that, okay? Okay, I'll take one more last request before we uh, go off there, uh, which is, if you have another stock, or Crest. Okay, let's look at Crest. Crest Builder. Uh, Crest Builder, uh, this is nice. I like. I prefer Crest Builder of all. Of all. Again, uh, another 8% in here. Uh, not much in here. Nice build up here, pull back and pull back. The other day, I was talking about KUB. Uh, I, did, I did talk about KUB early on, which is a nice one here. You can see KUB. Nice uptrending chart here. I recommend it was a buy around here when you first break up, pull back at 57 cents, now 62 in here. Uh, you can see a lot of strength coming in the little guy. So use, make sure when you buy, have at least a two green marker on your side. Make sure you know which market structure you're talking about. Uh, uh, so that's all I have. Uh, so watch out for the uh, IVSA session uh, invitation webinar that will be sent out. We have limited seats in there. We have about maybe about 60 over seats uh, for this coming August 6th. So make sure you grab in and register that. Okay, It's uh, free because we are trying to promote our IVSA chart and really want to get your feedback in there. At the same time, we will be talking about our IVSA chart stock game and also the free e-course that we are doing. So with that, I end our Friday 
uh, chart clinic here and I bid you a good uh, holiday, Selamat Hari Raya to all our Muslim friends and uh, drive carefully. I bid you uh, a good holiday and I'll see you next week. And for those who are our premium members, I welcome you. Some of you have decided to join. It is a good decision uh, for those of you who join. So I'll see you to this evening at 4.15. And uh, we have a good update. And we'll look at a couple of stocks that we have picked up last week and see how well they fare. With that, I'll see you later. And all the best. Bye-bye.